So we call this short-term diagonals, selling front month. And, and it's like a straddle strangle swap, but it's like, you know, we diagonalized it. So, mm-hmm. so we're short the front month, we're short the zeros and long a back month, 30 day. That's the diagonal. Next slide, please. So the zero DT marketplace is giving retail traders a new realm to practice strategic investment with rapid response times. Diagonal trades going long a back month option to define the risk on a short front month option are some of the most flexible kinds of option trades. I know a lot of people like this trade, but we've never actually researched the results. We only have, I think, eight months of data. So it's, you know, it's whatever we have. Sure. Um, so what happens if we buy more traditional long dated options to protect selling zero DT premium? What do you think? Oof. Uh, I mean, in zero, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say it, it smooths out the curve a little bit. I mean, I, I'm taking kind of a, 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 a public view here. If I'm long some options, it's going to help me from that, you know, catastrophe of a day move. I don't know. I mean, my first thought was, especially in this market, this should work. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if it's better than, I mean, in, in my head, I feel like, it's a more expensive trade, so it should be it should be a better trade. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Let's take a look. First slide. So using eight months of intraday data in the SPX, we collected data every 10 minutes. Um, we examined buying the 30-day strangle, and we placed the strikes at the VIX implied expected move. Okay, whatever the expected move was on that day, we 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 that's where the third that's where the that's where we put the thirty day strangle, um, and then we sold the zero DTE uh, at the money straddle. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. in the first example, we held the we held the straddle to ex, to to the end of the day. In the sex, second example, we closed at twenty five percent of max profit. That's more along the lines of where we would do, of what, what I would do. And then we, on the third way, we rolled the strikes at 25% of max profit to keep the dream alive and just kept adjusting. Sure. Um, if at the close, the long straddle was in the money, we closed it out to protect from max loss. And then we just reestablished the next day. And we contrasted the results again from this to a straight zero DT butterfly like we do now, or iron fly. And with short zero DT straddles and long zero DT strangles, right? That's that's what an iron fly is. Mm-hmm. Um, and those were all one, you know, one day zero. I'm sorry, not one day zero DT days. So we're comparing the selling the straddle, buying the 30 day wings versus selling the straddle, buying the same day wings. Right? That's all that is. Yep. One is a diagonal. One is a iron fly. Are you ready? Drum ready. It's a lot. There's a lot there, but go ahead. It's a lot there. I, 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 you know, every time our research team gets into the weeds with zero DTs, there's a lot there, but I think you guys are going to appreciate this. You know so, what? I think zero day, it warrants getting in the weeds with it because I, I, first of all, there's not a lot of data with it. Like you just said, eight months or so. And second, I mean, it's a new product. So I think it, yeah, we've actually been getting requests from um, from a lot of institutional firms, exchanges, and stuff like, "Hey, can we use your can we use your data? Can we use like some of the stuff you guys are creating? Because it's it doesn't really exist in very many places." Mm-hmm. Um, zero. This is the zero zero. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is zero DT iron flies. That means you sell the zero DT straddle and you buy the zero DT wings. Okay. So all this is. So if you hold those to expiration, exactly what you would think, it's a 50, 50 shot. Um, if you close them when they are 25% winners, it's a 61% win rate and you actually make more money. And if you roll them um, intraday, because the volatility has been collapsing, it's been a good environment for those. Um, it's a 63% winner with, with $98 in P and L. There is no doubt that um, through our research, 
that the worst thing you can do with a zero DT is put it on and hold its expiration that day. Right. That is the worst payout every single time. Either you manage at 25% or at 25% you manage and roll. Over the last eight months, you've done better managing and rolling. But if volatility was going the other way, it'd be better just to manage at 25%. Okay, that's just the way it is. You make less trades if you just close at 25%. But, you know, if you roll, you make an extra trade a day. But it's clear. Don't hold to expiration. If you're doing a zero DT in the morning, manage at 25% or adjust at 25% and, and recenter and do it again. Okay, that's, yeah, that's I mean, you make a good point and it, it's and you're reiterating it. But that has been the research. You don't hold this to the end of the day, which nope. I, which I would have looked at, like, you know, going into it, like, you know what, probably holding to the end of the day. It's 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 expiration. Right. I mean, that's when Well, I can tell you for sure, if this was 30 years ago, we would have never even considered anything but holding it to the end of the day. A hundred percent. We've learned so much. And I believe this, <laughs> you know, this is, this is, um, it makes no sense. You have 20% higher pop and 20 and 20% 20 higher pop and 35% more money you make. So it's an absolute brain dead exercise, yep. but let's go. And just remember these numbers. Remember that 61% number closed winners. Now we're going to go to the next slide. Okay, so now you have to make these decisions because this is selling the same straddle, but instead of buying the strangle in that same day, you're going out 30 days. So you're putting up a lot more money. And when you put up a lot more money, you are obviously, you have to have, you have to benefit from putting up more money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is the benefit? Well, the benefit is, you're going from a 60% win rate to an 80% win rate. That's the benefit. And the benefit is also that, I mean, you're making less money at 25%, but if you roll the winners intraday, you're making 320, I mean, it's a huge number. Huge number, yeah, for sure. Making three times as much money, but yep. three trades a day. But here, here's the, the real key for me is I want to make, I want to be right 80% of the time. Like that's what I wanted. That that you know, there's a big like difference. Like being put in a winning winning position. Yeah, sure. Manage the winner. I want to decide if I want to roll the winners or close the winners, but I want to put myself in a position. So for me, this is the most important zero DT study we've done so far because I up up until today we haven't been. It's, we've had a hard time getting over that fifty five, you know, sixty max pop. And, and I don't like that 60 pop. Like, it's not high enough for me. It's it's too much of a toss-up. Mm -hmm. And at 80 pop over eight months of research, or an 81% pop where we roll, because I'm fine with rolling, um, all of a sudden, the zero DTE using the 30-day strangles on the around the outside, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I can, I can work with you now. I can work with an 80% pop. Right. With, with the ability to roll the trade and make more money, whatever it is. I understand I'm taking more risk. I understand I'm putting up more capital, but I like the 80% pop and it I is defined risk. I can figure this out. Like I can, you know, I I can, can figure this it. out. Right. We finally found a strategy that allows us to sell a straddle by the back month wings and gives us that 80% pop mm -hmm. based on eight, eight months of research. So now we got something to, you know, we can, we can sink our teeth into. Yep. Um, so really good piece of research. Let's go to the next slide. Some of the takeaways. The past eight months have been profitable time to short zero DT premium, regardless of what you do. Um, especially when managing winners, you've done better. But using longer dated options to define the risk rather than zero DT options exaggerated the difference between management styles with rolling winners paying off big. In total, our diagonal traders only exercised their long legs twice. Defining the risk was more about controlling buying power than maximizing PL. It is still early in our learning process to learn how to play zero DTs, but we're getting comfortable with a wide range of option strategies that let you tailor your trading to the risk reward profile that best fits you. The risk reward profile that best fits me is the highest pop possible. Which, I would agree. Which, that, which that trade is. Now, I got some toys to try next week. 
Beautiful. Hey, let's take a quick 90 second break and come back. We got more tasty live sad enough after this. We've got Oh Joy, your friend and mine. Mr. Scott Sheridan next. Tasty Trade World Headquarters.